Hey guys, welcome to part 5 of the cut page tutorial for DaVinci Resolve version 16. I was thinking this was going to be the last in the series, but there's still quite a bunch of stuff that I want to cover. So today I think I'm going to focus mostly on transitions between clips. And then might have a follow up where we look at titles and, uh, and, and effects as well. So let's get right into it, looking at some transitions. So the first transition we're going to be starting off is a dissolve, a simple dissolve. So I'm going to grab these two clips, I have them both highlighted, I'm going to drag them down to our timeline here. I'm going to move my playhead over so we can see the intersection on the lower timeline here. And what I want to do is basically dissolve between these two clips. Now, this button here is the dissolve button. And you'll notice our good friend, this little arrow here, this is the smart insert caret, pointing down between these two clips. Basically what that means is when I press this dissolve button, it's going to make a dissolve where this smart insert is pointing towards. Now I'm going to press this d dissolve button and what we're going to see is actually it's going to do nothing. And I'm going to explain why in just a minute. So I press this dissolve button and nothing really happens between these two clips. So this is, this is what I'm about to tell you is something you definitely want to keep in mind when you're doing dissolves between two clips. And the reason that this button is doing nothing is because this first clip here, we're at the very end of it and this clip here, we're at the very start of it. And in order to do a proper dissolve, there needs to be some overlap in these two clips to dissolve between. So if you think about it, when, we're, when we come up to a position here and we're doing a dissolve, we actually wanna bring some of this clip over into this clip. And conversely, when we're over here, we wanna bring some of this clip over into this clip. So very quickly to illustrate that, what I can do is use our good friend, the trim control, and I'm going to shorten this sand clip a little bit here. And you can see as I'm holding the mouse button down, that white rectangle shows, yep, there's some extra clip now with that sand clip that overlaps into the beach scene. I'm also going to come over here and I'm going to gobble up some of the start of this beach scene clip over to the right here, and I'm going to let go. So now these two clips have some information that overlaps between the two of them. So now when I press the dissolve, we see this dissolve icon show up over here, which overlays on top of the two clips. And this would sort of do what you, ex you would expect. So I'll just play this through. Now we see a beautiful transition between the two clips. And you can see if I bring in and stop the playhead here during this dissolve, you can see the two clips being merged together. Now, if I wanted to do any extra editing on this dissolve, I could, I could go into the edit page here. I can click on the dissolve. I can go up to the inspector and I can play with the transition up here. But since we're focused on the cut page, we're not gonna go into that in details. And remember, the whole point of this cut page is for very quick edits. So if we want to get into a lot more detail, we'd have to go into the other page. But this does a great job for 90% of the cases where you want a transition that looks something like that. You can, however, change the length of this transition. So we're going to make that short. Play this through again. Very quick transition. We could also make it longer. And now, as I click on the edge of this transition, notice that white box again shows up and that's showing how far I can stretch this thing out until I run out of room on either of the two clips. So I'm going to stretch this out and boom, we hit this right side first, which is the end of the first sand clip over here. So that's as long as we can make that transition. If I wanted to make that transition longer, I would need to trim these two clips a little bit more so I had some extra information, or some extra frames that overlap the other clip. So we're gonna play this long transition, and there we go. Now there's a button over here which is called the cut transition. Essentially what that is is just deleting the transition. And I think the reason why they added this into the interface is because there's a dedicated command on the DaVinci Resolve keyboard that would quickly remove cuts, or would quickly remove transitions between clips. As soon as I press this, again, we see our smart insert here is pointing towards this transition, so that's gonna delete that transition. So there we go. I'm gonna do an undo. I can also select this transi transition and just do a delete. So whatever way you prefer. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at the smooth cut here. I'm gonna set up an example to help demonstrate what this is for. So let me delete these two clips here. This is a great transition when you're when you have faces 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice up this clip here. I'm going to move just a couple frames forward. So before frames, I'm going to do another cut here and I'm going to delete. And I'm just going to scroll back a little bit and we're going to play this through. And I want you to just watch for that little hitch where those frames are missing. There. So we see that again. There. So that might that little hitch might represent in an interview when somebody's saying um uh, or something like that and you want to cut that little piece out but then as a result of that you have that little hitch in the video so what we can do there is we can add and again this is going to rely on our smart insert here we can click on this smooth cut so what davinci resolve is going to do is it's going to try to merge those clips together to make that transition seamless let's see how it did i'm going to play perfect can't notice anything so that did it in this case a very good job so that was only four frames or so so let's do another example where I move over here and I'm gonna take out a lot more than four frames because I want you to show the limitations of this tool here so I'm taking out a whole chunk in the middle here I'm coming back here and let's look at this jump now okay so that was pretty drastic let's see how the smooth cut does so again here's our insert Let's see how our smooth cut does here. There, now if you're looking at that, you can see a bunch of artifacts because it was just too big a jump to really smooth those two clips together. So you can see if I slowly scrub, it doesn't really work that well in this case, unless of course that's the effect that you're going for. But in any case, where you probably want to use the smooth cut is again, very small number of, uh, number of frames where you've just had to edit something small out. Okay, so let's clean things up a little bit. So I can come down here, I can click on these transitions and delete them. I can also come up here and delete them from here. So I'm just highlighting both of these with the control select or shift select in, in this case. And I'm gonna do a delete and away they go. So let's just clean everything up right now and start from scratch. So what we're looking at are these three buttons here. These aren't the only transitions. These are just the most common transitions. So if we come up to here, to this transitions, we can see a whole bunch of other ones. And we're gonna go through some of these right now. So what I've done here, I've created, a, essentially I've just toggled through a couple different clips and I've added all these different. And you can see all those transitions up along the, the timeline up here. So I'm just gonna let that run. Before I do that though, I'm gonna push P on the keyboard to go into full screen mode and then spacebar to start. Okay, so I push P again. So that's pretty much all these transitions here. These are all video transitions. We have some audio transitions here. We're not gonna go into the audio details here. I'm gonna save that for a tutorial series on the Fairlight tab. 
Okay, so that's it for today's tutorial, everyone. Thanks uh, again for tuning in. Next time, we're going to be looking at the titles and the effects, and then we'll close off this, this, uh, this cut page series. Thanks again for watching, and take care.